Climate Smart Agriculture is a fairly recent approach, first developed by FAO in 2010, just after the Copenhagen UNFCCC meeting, when it was very clear there was a need to come up with an approach, an approach that involves concepts, policies, technical tools, and an investment framework to support agriculture under climate change. The idea of climate smart agriculture is that agriculture is key to food security. Climate change changes how agriculture can be managed for uh, food security. So that the, the climate smart ag approach specifically looks at the need for achieving food security by increasing productivity and incomes, but also including necessary adaptation because we're already seeing climate change affecting agriculture and projected to be much more in the future. And the third thing is to look at how you can um, reduce the impact of agriculture on future dangerous climate change, which also is a threat to food security. It turns out that a lot of agricultural strategies, you can capture a lot of synergies between food, se food security adaptation and mitigation. And that's one of the key focuses of climate smart agriculture. But also, I mean, there's a reality that there's some trade-offs as well. These are different objectives and that you can't get everything at the same time in every uh, farmer's field, for example. So climate smart agriculture also is a way of identifying where there's trade-offs and looking at how you can reduce them and how you can address them. What we know now is that climate change is already having effects on agricultural systems and that the projected effects are, could be quite large, generally negative, and will generally impact the most vulnerable, pop vulnerable populations. These effects can be uh, reduced, and the good news of climate smart agriculture is that by taking actions now to deal with this changing reality of global warming, you can avoid these huge costs. And that, that's really what the bottom line of it is about. So. Um, I think uh, if the, just recently the IPCC had a report out, the fifth assessment report, it's the most comprehensive assessment of what are the current and future impacts of climate change. And what it makes clear is that, yes, these, we are already feeling the effects, they're mostly negative, they mostly hit the most vulnerable, and we can do something about it. So climate smart agriculture gives us a basis to do that. Well, what's clear about these most recent reports is that everybody's affected by climate change. Now, the people that are already most vulnerable because they're poor or marginal communities, these kinds of things, they are the most vulnerable to climate change. But the, the IPCC report also says that new people will be made vulnerable by climate change. And again, these are kinds of things that can be avoided if we take effective actions to uh, adapt to climate change and also to mitigate to avoid further dangerous climate change in the future. So that's what climate smart agriculture is about. Bringing together the need to adapt to current climate change but also to reduce the dangers of future climate change through mitigation. What communities are up against now is that things are changing quickly there's a lot more uncertainty. So in the past, you could you know, rely on the, the history and your experience and your grandfather's experience for the way weather patterns would go. Okay, that's changing now. There's a lot more uncertainty, and that means you'd have to manage, change the way you manage agricultural systems. And a lot of that has to be done at a community level. It's not just each individual. So one of the things about climate smart agriculture is to really look at how things are changing, try to build information flows into communities, and help them identify options and how to overcome the biggest barriers they're facing in making transitions to face this new reality of climate change. Climate change, because, because that people are already feeling it, it's creating this certain amount of urgency in getting people together. So creating something that was already talked about a lot under sustainable agriculture, but maybe didn't move forward as much. Another possibility for climate change is much more direct financing for the environmental benefits produced by agriculture. Over the years, there's been a lot of discussion about payment for environmental services. 
So agricultural producers produce food, but they also produce an environmental benefit. Let's say in this case, mitigation, re reducing emissions. By planting a tree, they essentially pull back the emissions into the tree. This is agriculture is unique in being able to do this. Climate change offers a, a, the possibility for large-scale financing that's directly linked to the agricultural sector to recognize the possibility for this environmental benefit as well as the sort of traditional agricultural product, products and markets. So for those, these reasons, even though uh, climate change poses really a lot of challenges and risks to agriculture, it also provides some basis and opportunity for really capturing sustainable agriculture objectives and moving forward. But of course, it's really key that we read these signs and move on them. And we're getting there, and climate smart agriculture is one way of trying to mobilize the political, technical, institutional frameworks to do that. But we're not quite there yet, but there's, there's possibility.